Protecting the frontiers was once the task of patriotic tribesmen, but those days are long gone. After the country's military forces allied themselves with the U.S., this once impenetrable boundary became a virtual free-for-all. In recent weeks, hundreds of armed fighters have been taking on the local police, guarding this difficult border. The most recent attack killed more than two dozen policemen in Nasrat Tara in Upper Deed. Some of the officers were killed in their compound, and others had to abandon their post when they ran out of ammunition. Some of them tried to hide in the ruins of this school, but they didn't stand a chance and were gunned down as well. Their attackers fled over the mountains into Afghanistan. At the village, the police are trying to muster local help by asking the villagers to help the government protect the border territory. The main purpose is public mobilization and to inform them that they have to be extra vigilant in their areas and they have to uh, extend all out support to the government. The government used to describe the tribal Lashkars or militia as their secret weapon against the Pakistani Taliban. But the military disarmed many of them when it launched a major operation in Deir and Swat to root out the Swati Taliban. Now the volunteers are sending an SOS to the government. Border security is not a domain of the police. It's the duty of the country's military to protect the international borders. But despite all, the police is ill-equipped and don't have enough bullets and guns to fight back. Besides making a living, these men have to prevent infiltrators from overrunning their land, armed only with a handful of light weapons and a pocket full of bullets. Kamal Haider Al Jazeera, 